It is time to expand minds through movies, TV, sports, and flicks. It is time to boldly go where no podcast has gone before. It is time for the Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain, the Captain Talk, Talk Flicks. 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 Welcome to the Captain Talk Slicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, aka Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I welcome the podcast, podcast where me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you can see on the two-bird screen. I like to get on here and give my unique perspective, because after 46 years of being on planet Earth, I developed new perspective about these movies, TV, sports, and flicks, and I like to get on here and tell you about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. And according to the stats, it looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to Slovakia. Got some plays over in Slovakia this past week. Gracias, gratitude, Todorba. And Slovakia, I heard about your potato pancakes. I looked at them online. They look absolutely divine. One of these days, I'm going to have to go over to Slovakia and get me some fresh potato pancakes. They look so good. So thanks for listening. Guys, it's gratitude. Total bar. appreciate the listens. And just FYI, back in the day, I went to school to be a radio DJ, but never got a job. I think I never got a job because I just didn't have the focus. If I would have had the focus, that would enable me to become a radio DJ. But I didn't. It allowed me to become the greatest podcaster in the matrix something to debate might be true might not be true but i said it on the internet so it's gotta be true right because everything on the internet is facts not facts true false propaganda fake news the matrix streets roads lights sky clouds balloons in the air i don't know i didn't make the internet that's the people that made the internet so when you're online just be worried just watch out anyways i could ramble all day but i won't Let's get right into the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, do you work out? Do you exercise? You might. A lot of us do. So if you do that, are you also training your mind? Some people say you got to train your mind just like you train your body. Well, if you believe that and you think that, we got a mug for you over the existing fictions at the store that says train this daily with a picture of a brain on it. Because a lot of people believe you got to train that brain daily. So if you want to wake up, have some coffee, some tea, and see a picture of a brain that says train this daily, then get this mug to remind yourself to train your brain daily. So I'll put a link below to the train this daily mug. Check it out. Now, let's get on with the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back again. I made it. I'll be honest. Let's be real. I'll be real with you guys. Since the beginning of the year started, I started off powerful. I started off strong, but there's been some moments in the last probably three, four weeks where the captain was not on his A game. Let's be real. Now, of course, things got done. I did what I was supposed to do, handle the business because this is what I do. I don't feel I was a full force, all out, go hard captain. I feel I didn't go as hard as I could have. I'll be honest. I'm going to fix that because let me just say this real quick. The captain does not stop. The captain does not quit. The captain keeps going no matter what. Unless I'm dead or there's an emergency, we keep going. And if you listen to this podcast, I hope you like that too. Because let me tell you this. Life keeps going on. Bills keep showing up. The globe keeps spinning. The globe is not going to stop. So we can't stop. Of course, we'll pause, take breaks, recover, relax. Of course, we will do that. But we can't stop because this globe will not stop. So let's continue to expand our mind. Let's continue to move forward. Let's continue to grow. Let's continue to gain abundance. Let's continue to just gain wisdom. Become faster, stronger, smarter, wiser. Be more kind, more compassionate. Let's do this. Because let me tell you this. The world ain't stopping. So we can't stop. So thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. God says gratitude. So now let's get to the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen. What'd you do today? Probably woke up. Got out of bed. Brush your teeth, took a shower, wash your hair, ate some food, went to a job, you know, went to a restaurant, went to a bar, went to a school, went to a class, looked at your iPhone, look at your tablets, look at your cell phone, watch some TV, watch some YouTube, put some clothes on, right? I did all those things. 
Probably at least some of them or all of them. Kissed your wife, kissed your husband, right? Had some pancakes. <laughs> so um, you ever stop to think like, why am I choosing what I'm doing? Why did I choose this? Why did I choose that? Why did I go left? Why did I go right? Why am I wearing these pants? Why, why am I wearing this watch? Why am I saying these words? Why are these words I'm saying? Why am I saying these? Why, well, there's probably a lot of different reasons, right? But I feel a very powerful influence on our choices and what we do and what we say and how we move and how we act and what we wear and how we think. Big part of it, not full, not all, but a big part, our screens. The screens are very powerful. I feel the screens are shaping minds constantly. And when I say screens, I'm talking computer screens. I'm talking TV screens. I'm talking cell phone screens. I'm talking tablet screens. I'm talking watch screens. I'm talking screens, bro, with video on them and sounds on them and books on them. I'm talking Kindle screens, e-reader screens with words, sounds, pictures, right? Constantly bombarding our eyeballs, our ears all day by choice. A lot of us not being forced on us. A lot of us, we're choosing this. We are choosing to put our eyes on all those screens I just listed, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, we are. But you ever thought to think like how much influence those screens are having on your everyday choices? What you have for lunch? What you have for breakfast? What shoes you wear? What pants you wear? You ever thought the screens are having a big role in that? Right? Checking email. Look at that tablet. Look at look at the screens. I mean, have you ever thought how much power, how much influence is coming to you on those screens? I'll be real. I'll be honest with you. I had some food yesterday. I got some takeout. And I think part of it is because I saw a commercial for it a couple of days before. I really think it's part of it. Now, I do like the food. The food is good, of course. And I had some coupons, of course, because you don't got to have some coupons. I had coupons, right? Coupons were there. But that being said, I really think part of the reason I might have got that food was because I saw a commercial. Let's be real. I like to think I'm this highly evolved human being that's unreceptive to the screens and I'm making all my choices and I'm choosing it all myself and everything is through my mind and I'm not being influenced. Like, no way, not the captain. The captain not being influenced is impossible. He can't be. He's ininfluenceable. But to be real, I know it influences me. I'm sure of it. I'm positive. There's probably a lot of things I'm wearing, doing, even as the language I'm speaking right now. This language, these words, choices I'm using right now. This is most likely influenced by the screens. The screens, the phones, the tablets, computers. These words heavily influenced by that, right? If this is true and these screens are influencing those things I just said, my speech, my clothes, what I'm eating, right? Shouldn't we be very particular about what we look at on those screens? Now, I know I've talked this to death. I've done so many podcasts that are basically a version of what I'm saying right now. But I keep doing it because I feel this is very important. On the path to expand our mind, having this awareness of the strength and the power of the screens, knowing the power and the strength of these screens, if we are aware of this, then we can take more control of it. And we can control more of what we look at on these screens. And therefore, we can reprogram our mind. We can change our life path. We can change our fate, change our destiny, possibly. Maybe. I think so. All by pruning what we see on these screens. Right? I think so. So if you're not doing it already, take time to really evaluate. What am I looking at? What am I reading? What am I watching? What am I hearing? What am I spending my time looking at? Right? What am I doing? And are these things influence me? Most likely, yes. Are these influences good? Are they bad? I do not know. Figure it out, right? Am I wearing these clothes because I really like these clothes? Or just because the screen's kind of moving me to them, right? In addition, right, if you want to be a certain thing, look a certain way, act a certain way, use those screens to guide you to that place. Look at things on the screen that are going to guide you and direct you in that matter. How do you want to be where you want to be at? You can use the, the screens to guide you in that, in that space, right? It's very easy. If you just take control of your screens and just make sure to hone, prune the feeds more than you might be doing now. You might already be doing this. Maybe you're already doing this. You might be. 
I do this constantly. I evaluate on a regular basis. What am I looking at? What am I listening to? How is it affecting my mind? How is it affecting my actions? How is it affecting, if at all, is it, is it not? I look at all these things on a regular basis. And I'll tell you what, if I feel some of these things I look at the screens are putting me in a mind state or guiding me to a place or reinforcing things that I don't want to think, then I will cut them off quickly. No matter what it is, it doesn't matter what it is. I don't care how long I've been watching it, listening to it, whatever. If I feel it's putting me in a space I don't want to be in, I will cut it off. Whatever it may be, it doesn't matter, right? Because I understand that these screens have power. Now, in 2023, there's a lot of screens. But back in my day, when I was a young man, there was really only one. The only one that had, for the most part, was the TV. And that was the most powerful screen back in the day. And that powerful screen back in the day was shaping minds, was shaping realities, was shaping choices. Yeah. Some people tell you, no, it's not true. There's no way. I'm choosing everything myself. I got all this free will, and I'm sure you do. But your choices and options are only the size of your awareness, right? And if the screen is limited to your awareness, then your choices and options are smaller. I was thinking about this this past week. I was thinking in my younger days, my options and choices were smaller because my awareness was smaller. And so within those options and choices, I chose things and stuff that I might not have chosen had I not had a large awareness of more options and more choices, right? Yeah, I was really going deep in the mind this, this, this past uh, week and thinking that, right? I had a smaller awareness, so my options and choices available to me with that awareness was smaller, which limited the moves I could make. But now at 23, with a large awareness, with more options and choices known, there's just more paths to take. And at 23, one of the things that raises our awareness is the amount of screens out there. There's, there's tons of screens, which just puts way more awareness. Now the thing about that though, is in that awareness, there are good things and there's bad things. There's a lot of good things out there on these screens, but there's also a lot of bad things. So while the awareness has expanded, it is more available on these screens. It also does bring more negativity and more positivity. So you need to sift through all the nonsense and find what best suits your life path, where you want to go, what you want to do, and use the appropriate things on these screens to take you there. And now this podcast is all about expanding minds. My goal is to expand my mind and hopefully we can all expand our mind together. So if you with me, you want to expand that mind, let's take a close look at these screens. What are we looking at? What are we watching? What are we paying attention to? Let's evaluate this. Is it good for us? Is it not good for us? And once we figure this out, take the appropriate action. Right? That's all you got to do. We're going to expand our mind. We're going to grow. We're just going to become better human beings. And if we're better human beings ourselves, the world will be a better place, right? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's just a dream. I don't even know, dude. So I'm just a podcaster. I kind of don't even know what I'm talking about. But maybe this is true. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But one thing is for sure. There's a lot of screens and you're probably looking at a lot of them. That's probably facts. And with all the other stuff I said, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But one thing is for sure. There's definitely a lot of screens, a lot of stuff on it right? Choose what you watch and pay attention to wisely. Because I feel there's a lot of power in those screens. I'm just saying, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's none. Maybe there's no power. Maybe I'm not understanding this properly. Like I said, I'm just a podcaster. What do I know? But anyways, um, let's keep going. Let's do this. Expand minds. Let's continue to look at screens, learn lessons from screens, right? Learn new ways of being from screens. Let's expand this life, expand our mind and grow. Join this journey, of my expansion. Let's go and get it. And that's all I want to talk about this week. And until next time, we'll see. Live long and prosper. Spock. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.